I want to jump on here real quick and share my my journey the past few weeks. Um, I one of my one of my most favorite things about ministry is sharing personal testimonies. I'm okay with making myself vulnerable as long as I know it's going to minister and help somebody else. The Lord has been giving us many signs about this wealth transfer. I'm so thankful for the community. I'm so thankful for everybody that uh, has subscribed, has commented, has been part of this journey. I do pray for you all continually. Uh, but recently, I I want to I want to shout out Brother Keith, Brother Michael Lawrence, and Brother Victor. I recently spoke to these men of God in the past couple of days, and they've helped me a lot. You know, the Bible says iron sharpens iron, and I was falling into error in the sense that I've been trying to leverage my coins. I've shared before, not having much money in the game. I'm trying to capitalize. I was too focused on which one's going to hit first, which one's going to take off the fastest. And to be honest with you, it was it was just being unstable. Like the Bible says, in, you know, an unstable mind, you could, could become unstable in all your ways, the Bible says. So I've set my mind straight. I've settled in my heart. And I want to share with you today on this video, if you've been going through what I've been going through, Let's, here, here's the crux of the video. Do what the Lord has told you to do. Forget about the number of coins. Forget about what prices you think they're going to go to. Do what the Lord has showed you to do. It's going to be different than what the Lord showed me, Brother Michael Lawrence, Brother Jordan, Brother Drew, Brother Keith. Uh, it's going to be different. While I love gleaming information and watching each other's videos and testimonies because the Word of God is alive and when somebody's anointed, like these men of God, when they're speaking, light bulbs could start going off in your brain. You could begin getting revelation immediately. So for me, I settled in my heart today. Um, spoke to bro Brother Michael Lawrence this morning. He He's just such a wonderful man of God and such a great blessing. And, um, you know, we just spoke about doing what the Lord has told us to do. For me, the Lord has given me uh, for the wealth transfer, he's given me other coins that I've I've shared with you that I will buy after the wealth transfer, like Telcoin, which is not doing so great right now, um, Matic and 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 uh, Cardano, uh, XDC. Well, XDC might be part of the wealth transfer, but the the big ones for me are XRP, Shiba Inu, and Luna Classic, and it, and it's it's not a coincidence. Some people have been kind, and if and I thank you for everybody that has gifted me. Um, blessed me with some coins. Those are the three that I that I have received some coins: XRP, Luna, and Shib. And those are the coins that I believe the Lord wants me to hold right now. And I've been trying to say, all right, let me. I'm going, you know, heavier with Shib, lighter with Luna. Then I feel Luna, you know, might go first because the Lord has shown me signs with Luna. And what I've what I've come to realize that God's given us signs for each of these coins. And it's not so much which one's going to go first. And that's where I fell into error. And I, and I want to share that. And I hope that blesses somebody. Because last, the last sign, and I didn't make a video on this. I'm not going to make a video on every sign the Lord gives unto us. It's cool. It's I'm thankful. It's it's interesting. Uh, I want to make this disclaimer, which I have on my other videos. We do not chase signs. Signs follow those that believe. Mark chapter 16 speaks of that, that the signs follow the believers, will lay hands on the sick, they will recover, will speak in new tongues. Um, so the last the last thing the Lord showed me, and I, I just want to explain this and kind of where I, I slightly erred, fell into error. I was playing ball in the street with my boys about a week ago. And there's a little bit of sand on right by the sidewalks on the side of my house. And I was going to get the ball, kicking a soccer ball. And I look in the sand and there are two perfect XRP symbols. I don't know what kind of sneaker could have made that. I don't think the ball imprint could have made that. It was enough that my eyes went, you know when your eyes go right to something, it's, it's always when you're not looking. If you're looking for signs, you're not gonna see them, but God catches you by surprise. And it was one of those ones, you know, I've been walking with the Lord enough, I have enough discernment. You know, not every moon that I see, oh, that's Luna. Luna's going to, you know, but every now and then the moon will catch your eye and you're like, hmm. And it's God will speak to us through these signs. OK, we're not mystical. We're not we, we hold we hold on to the word of God. And 
And, and God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And God does use signs to speak to us. So I see these XRP symbols in the sand and it stood out to me and I'm like, wow, I need to buy some XRP. And then all of a sudden, you know, I'm making my bags heavier with the XRP and I'm sell, you know, selling off some of my lunar and my ship. And like I said, just today, just, just speaking yesterday, to brother Keith, my uh, brother Victor, and then brother Michael Lawrence today, I'm like, hold up. What are you driving yourself crazy for? These are the coins the Lord gave you. The Lord is saying, be ready. And when I prayed before this video, that's the word that I have for everybody on here. Hold on. The Lord told me to hold on to what he has shown you. Don't budge. Don't move. Whether one coin falls, the other coin shoots up. Just keep your eyes on Jesus. His promises are yea and amen. What he told you will come to pass. If he highlighted certain coins, buy them. Uh, maybe he's going to give you percentages and how much to hold. If not, you know what? Just... Just buy them, put money into them. You want to equally proportion. Whatever it is, God has shown you the ones that he's going to bless. Some of us, he's He's given us price points. Thank God for that. Not everybody. If you didn't get price points, I don't think it's the end of the world. You know, you continue to ask the Lord for that. Uh, I believe he will speak to you. For me, I, I haven't gotten exact proportion. I, ha I have just those three coins, Shiba Inu. And I know it all in my heart that these are prophetic coins. And there's been, you know, in my own personal life and in, and in our brothers and sisters that are putting out videos. I mean, there's been hundreds of witnesses to this. Shiba Inu, Luna Classic, XRP. So the point of this video, what I'm not gonna do anymore, and I hope you don't neither, I'm not gonna try to figure out what coin is gonna go first. I'm not gonna try to load up one coin more than the other. Um, I'm gonna pray, and I did pray, and I feel what what to put into each coin like i said i don't have much to put into this but for me um the the chosen coin right it's a buzzword for xrp i believe that will go the biggest that will uh be the longest hold i have personally just taken a few of my xrp not much and i put them in uh in a in a wallet i put it in a hot wallet i tried to do the cold wallets i know brother drew and them are big on that. I just wish I could do it. I bought a Nano X and it doesn't work. It comes on. It doesn't hold a charge and they will not give me my money in returning it. So I said, I'm done. And it seemed too complicated for me anyhow. So I found some good hot wallets. Um, Exum, X-U-M-M. Brother Michael Lawrence gave me for, uh, you know, for XRP. Brother Victor gave me, uh, I think it's Bifrost. I think these are both uh, one of the you know, Flare Network, XRP Network, Network Ledgers. Uh, I just downloaded them. They seem to be working great. That's where I'm at. I'm holding to it. I'm holding on. I know God's about to do it. I felt the Lord say, it's close. We know it's close. We've been hearing that it's close. Let's let's get into position. Let's um, Let's consecrate ourselves unto the Lord. Let's begin praising him as though it happened. Faith moves the hand of God. Not saying when God, but what God, what would you have me do? And I know praise is a sign of faith. We're going to, let's start, let's begin praising him that it's done already. Because if the Lord showed you and he's spoken it, it's done already. We don't need to worry about it. Don't worry. Don't stress. That's not the will of God. Stand on the promises of God. God wants us to do what he showed us to do, whether it's $5 or $5,000 or what have you. Buy the coins he showed you to buy. Hold on to them. Remember, I made a video. Brother Michael Lawrence made a video as well. God is the God of multiplication. He doesn't need much to make a lot. Some of us think, well, I need, you know, 100 million Shiba Inu for money, you know. God doesn't need that. God will multiply. You know what, God, you know, for me, a, a pricey highlight for Shiba Inu is seven cents. There's a people that got prices for four, five, seven, eight dollars. So guess what? If you got two million Shiba Inu and you sell them at seven dollars and I got 50 million and I sell them at seven cents, you know, you could see how God can make up for somebody that doesn't have as much. God didn't give me a price for seven dollars. So I did not set a seven dollar price point for my Shiba Inu. So let's listen to God. Let's give him praise and thanksgiving for what he has done for us, what he is going to do. Let's thank him and praise him for what he's going to do with this wealth transfer. Many are going to get saved. The kingdom of God is going to be blessed and advanced. We're going to help those 
to step into their callings. I want to help people build kingdom businesses. I want to invest in Bible colleges. I connected with some pastors in El Salvador when we did a crusade down there in December. They need Bible. They're looking to build Bible colleges. They're, they're doing a wonderful work in there and people around the world are doing wonderful works. But finances are going to help. The Bible says that finances in the book of Ecclesiastes helps in all things. It's not our answer, but it helps in all things. So God has chosen us. Thank God for that. If you're watching this, he's probably chosen you. I don't believe he's chosen everybody for this. Each of us have has a God-given assignment, a God-given purpose that we are going to carry out for the kingdom of God. And let's give him glory. Let's be responsible. I know for me, I'm praying for wisdom every day. When this comes, I must operate in wisdom or we're going to hurt ourselves and we're going to hurt others. In Jesus' name. God bless you all. Have a great weekend. Appreciate you all. If you have not subscribed, I ask that you subscribe, comment, like, share it. I'm trying to get the word out. I appreciate you all and uh, have a great weekend in Jesus' name.